Hi guys, it's me Lauren. I hope you're all okay. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tag video, which is kind of different to what I usually do. Um, but I saw this, I watched it last night on Ricky Richards TV and I really wanted to do it. Um, it's the tattoo, is it I Love Tattoos? Yeah, I Love Tattoos tag. And he basically tagged anybody in it who's got a tattoo. Um, and I love watching his videos anyway, they're really cool. Um, he's really, he's just a cool guy. Um, I love both him and Beauty Crush. But um, I really wanted to do this tag video, I thought it would be kind of fun. Um, I was running out of ideas what to do for my next video, so I thought this one would be nice as sort of like a space filler. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to do it, so I'm going to get straight into it. Um, the first question is, how many tattoos do you have? Let me, I'm going to have to count. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's nine now, yeah. I've got nine tattoos in total. Um, some people probably wouldn't cost that as a lot. I don't have any like pieces, as in I don't have a sleeve and I don't have a back piece. I, I just have like nine random tattoos on me. Um, whereas some people like have massive um, pieces like sleeves and stuff and that's usually classed as one piece. I've just got nine smaller tattoos, if that makes any sense. Um, number two, what's your favourite tattoo that you have? Now that's really hard because I love all of my tattoos. I would have had them done if I didn't love them. Um, but one of my favourites is the one on my side which is on my ribs i can't really show you um i don't know how I'm gonna, i can't really show you but it says um let me see if i can show you i'm not gonna be able to show you it's like a can you see sorry i'm just showing off my belly but that is the tattoo that is my favorite it says that you can spend a lifetime thinking about tomorrow um, which I really believe in and it's a lotus flower which I'm really into the whole I'm not into Buddhism <laughs> but I really like the symbolism behind a lot of things in Buddhism um, and a lotus flower is the symbol of rebirth and in particular that colour which is purple that colour means um, rebirth and regrowth and I got that after um, a big event in my life happened and I wanted to signify I'd lost I've lost quite a lot of weight as well and I wanted to signify that I was moving on with my life and I thought that that one's really close to me and I love how it's on my side and not a lot of people can see it um, unless I choose to show it to people and I find it's just a really nice personal tattoo for me to know that's the um I just really like that tattoo anyway <laughs> um how old were you when you got your first tattoo I was 17 yeah, I was 17 and it was my cherry blossoms on my foot. Um, they're not, they're really small compared to like my other tattoos. And I just decided when I was 17 I wanted a tattoo. Um, I know it's underage, but my mum and dad were totally aware that I was getting it. Um, they weren't very happy about it, but they knew I was getting it. Um, yeah, and that leads on to the next question, which is what do your parents think about your tattoos? Well, my mum and dad... I've got to the point now, because I've got nine tattoos, they've got to the point where they go, well, Laurie, it's your body, do what you want with it. Um, but at first, my mum and dad weren't keen on them at all. And they're still not, to this day, keen on them. They, they can accept that people have them, and they accept that I have got them, but personally, they just they just don't see the point, and they don't really like them, which is totally fair enough. Like, everyone's got their own opinions on tattoos. Um, but, yeah, they've sort of got to the point now because I've got that many tattoos um, they know that I'm I'm going to keep getting them so they may as well just deal with it <laughs> um, does your boyfriend like your tattoos? if so, what's his favourite? I've never asked Ian if he likes my tattoos which is a weird thing I've never actually said to him like do you like my tattoos? Um, but Ian's got tattoos as well, um, so I'm guessing he likes tattoos because <laughs> he wants more. Um, but he's never actually, I've never asked him, does he like my tattoos? But I'm guessing he does if he wouldn't really be going out with me if he didn't like me and he didn't like my tattoos. Um, and he's never said what his favourite is, so I don't know about that one. Um, number six, 
did you always have a love for tattoos and what was your inspiration? I have always, always loved tattoos. Um, I will always love tattoos. It's ever since I was small, I've always been fascinated with tattoos. When I've seen people with them, I always tend to like, not stare at them, but I like to look at them and admire them. Um, I think they're gorgeous to look at, most of them anyway, um, depending on what you're going to have. Um, there are some gorgeous tattoos out there and if they're done well, they look amazing. I've always loved Kat Von D, um, which is a bit cliche because everybody says that um, when it comes to tattoos, but I have always loved Kat Von D. She's gorgeous as a person, but her work is outstanding. I've got one of her books down here, but I can't really... Yeah, I can. This is one of the first books she did. And I just love this book. It comes with loads of different pictures of tattoos she's done on like celebrities and stuff. And let me see if I can pick a good one. I like this bit actually because it goes through all of her tattoos and says what they mean. Because you can imagine she's got loads of tattoos, but she's gorgeous, and it just tells you what each one of them means. So I've just, I've, she's been kind of the inspiration when I was younger. When I was watching LA Inc and Miami Inc and I've just always been into tattoos. I don't know what my inspiration was but yeah, that's it. And you can tell that I've always loved tattoos because on my wall behind me there, that's, can you see the, the, um, the owl and then above it there's like an envelope picture. There's sketches by the tattoo artist that I have. I just love all kind of like tattooing work and stuff so they're on my walls. Um, anyway. Number seven, do you plan on getting more tattoos in the future? Definitely. Um, I've got quite a few ideas that I really want. Um, I want a flower on my shoulder, um, but it's a very specific flower and it's to do with Buddhism again. Um, but I'm not going to go into that now. Um, I want my thigh doing, my right thigh. I've got a big thigh piece that's ready to go, but I just need the money because it's quite expensive. Um, I think that's it for now. But I will come up with more. There is definitely never going to be <laughs> a point where I won't want a tattoo. Um, but yeah, it's just money at the moment because they're quite expensive. Um, number eight, which tattoo would you say was the most painful? Um, I would have to say it's either this one, which is my blue rose. And oh my God, right, it didn't hurt when she first did it. I'll, I'll just tell you now it didn't hurt when she first did it but because of the colour I've always wanted a blue rose because I'm difficult and the blue colour just does not want to stay in my skin you can still see now if I show you here is a bit faded um, blues are very hard colour to keep in the skin and I wasn't aware of this until she, I'd already had it done um, and basically it, every time I had it done the blue would fade very quickly I've had it redone twice now and it's okay, um, but I probably will have it redone again at some point. But oh my god, when they go over it, um, it is so painful to have it recoloured in. Because um, it's sort of like going over scar tissue, because that's what your tattoo really is, because it's healed up. But it was very painful um, for it to go over the blue again. So that was very sore. But the one that hurt the most when I first had it done was the one on my back, believe it or not. I've got an anchor just below my neck. Um, and it's it's like a colourful anchor with hearts on and stuff and that hurts so much uh, you'd think I always thought backs wouldn't hurt because you're quite I don't know I've always thought I've got quite a chubby back um, but it really really stung but it totally depends on the person some people would think every tattoo they had really hurt which they do hurt but not to the extent of some if that makes any sense um, Number nine, do you regret any of your tattoos and why? I don't regret any of my tattoos and I think that's a really important point because you shouldn't be getting a tattoo if you're not 110% that that's what you want. I really, really think that people should think more about tattoos before they have them done. I'm quite spontaneous and I will decide that I want a tattoo next week. Um, but... Um, it's always something that I've wanted for ages but I'll just decide that I want it next week if that makes any sense so the idea has always been in my head like my blue rose I, I decided in like a week that I wanted it done and I was in and had it done but for ages and years I'd wanted a blue rose um, but some people just seem to pick them off boards like go in and just say oh I want that and I've got nothing against that if that's what you want to do but I like to have tattoos that have a bit of a meaning to them for me personally um, so 
yeah, I don't regret any of them, but one thing I would say is I look at some of them now and I, I think I could have placed them on my body better because it's going to be quite hard to do, um, like if I wanted a full thigh piece on my left thigh, I can't because I've already got part of a thigh piece on there. And it's just placement that I'd probably change on a few of them, not the actual tattoo itself. Number 10, what was your least painful tattoo? There's, like I said, tattoos, they all hurt. Uh, but the least painful, I would say, on me, would probably be this one, which is just another flower tattoo. This was, I had this done, when did I have that done? Can't remember. It's one of my first ones, anyway. And because it's on the flabbiest bit of my arm, it just didn't hurt at all. Um, it was a breeze, that one. So, yeah, that one was fine. And the last question is... Who would you like to tag? Um, again, I'd tag... If any of you guys out there who are watching this have got a tattoo, i tag you because I find these really interesting to watch um, and because people talk about the tattoos, I think it's really cool. Um, so if anybody out there who's watching this has got a tattoo, please um, feel free to do this video. And yeah, that's it for this video. I thought it was really cool. And when I was watching it last night, I was like, I've got to do this because I'm quite a tattoo freak. Um, like I said, I've got... Um, artwork on my walls and I've got loads of books about tattoos so I do like my ink um, but there are quite a few more tattoos that I do want so I'll definitely let you know when I get round to getting them so I hope you're all okay and I'll see you very soon bye